हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जेंटलमैन कैडेट अकेडमी जी सी ए होप यू आर डूइंग गुड सो अनदर वीडियो इन द जी डी टॉपिक्स लीड्स डिस्कशन सीरीज एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ द वीडियो इज क्राइम अगेंस्ट फेमेन सो दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड आई हैव फेस दिस टॉपिक टू थ्री टाइम्स इन द एस एस बी एंड आई स्टिल रिमेंबर दिस टॉपिक एम इन एस एस बी अलाहाबाद एंड इट वॉज नाइनटीन एस एस बी एस सो दिस टॉपिक इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फ्राम लेक्चर एट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड आई हैव नेवर मेड video on social topic so far so this is going to be the first video on such topic so in this topic i'll be discussing all the three leads for the given topic so like always without wasting any time let us start so the topic of the gd is what is the main reason for crime against women in india the first is societal norms and patriarchal mindset second is weak legal implementation and judicial delays third is lack of education and awareness so let us discuss the each lead one by one so the first lead is societal norms and patriarchal mindset so in simple language it means male dominated society so this culture means a belief system where the men are considered superior to women fostering environments where women rights are often disregarded and gender roles are rigidly defined and any deviation from these norms is often met with resistance or even violence So from a very young age girls are frequently subjected to discriminatory practices such as being denied an equal access to education or being burdened with domestic responsibilities while their male counterparts are given more freedom and these early experiences can instill a sense of inferiority making them more vulnerable to abuse later in life then also victim blaming culture plays a role women are often held responsible for the crimes committed against them whether it is questioning their choice of clothing the time of day they were out or their lifestyle societal attitudes frequently shift blame into the victim rather than holding the perpetrator accountable this prevents many women from reporting crimes allowing offenders to act without fear of repercussions and further harmful traditions such as female infanticide honor killings and dowry harassment are extreme manifestations of gender inequality showcasing how entrenched patriarchy continues to perpetuate violence against women in various forms then talking about the second lead that is the weak legal implementation and judicial delays So the criminal justice system plays a pivotal role in both deterring crime and delivering justice. However, in case of crime against women, the system often falls short at multiple levels. Underreporting of crime is a significant issue driven by fear of stigma, retaliation and distrust in the police. So when the cases are reported, the victims frequently face delays, bureaucratic hurdles and the harassment at the hands of law enforcement officials who lack the necessary sensitivity and training to handle such cases then the process of seeking justice can also be long with cases lingering for years in the courts for example high profile cases like 2012 nirbhaya gang rape highlighted not only the brutality of such crimes but also the inefficiencies of the judicial system so although fast track courts were introduced their implementation has been inconsistent and many victims continue to face prolonged legal battles and moreover the low conviction rates and send a dangerous message to potential offenders and according to the national crime bureau A significant proportion of cases involving rape and sexual assault end without conviction either due to lack of evidence procedural lapses or societal pressures or a victim to withdraw cases then the third lead is the lack of education and awareness so economic dependence on male family member is a critical factor that leave many women vulnerable to abuse and exploitation so when women lack the means to support themselves financially they often feel trapped in abusive relationship unable to seek help or escape their situation So this dependence also limits their ability to challenge gender based violence or negotiate equal rights within the household. Then empowerment through education is a key solution. So educated women are more likely to be aware of their rights and have confidence to assert them and they are also better equipped to access employment opportunities providing them with the financial independence necessary to make autonomous decision. And additionally the other factors like workplace discrimination and harassment further limit women's ability to participate. full in the economy and women who face harassment at work often find themselves forced to quit reducing their economic independence and reinforcing a cycle of dependence and vulnerability so the government initiatives like skill india stand up india and self help groups pro for women aim to provide vocational training entrepreneurship support and financial aid however their reach needs to be expanded and coupled with efforts to raise awareness about these opportunities among women in marginalized communities and furthermore community level programs aimed at changing societal attitudes are essential then grassroots campaigns that challenge traditional gender roles promote shared household responsibilities and advocate for the value of women's work both paid and unpaid can foster a more equitable society and finally i can say addressing crime against women requires a multi pronged approach involving not only government actions but also active participation from civil society schools should introduce gender sensitivity education early on to challenge stereotypes 
and promote respect for women and media can play a powerful role in reshaping societal narratives by highlighting stories of strong empowered women and focusing on importance of gender equality so friends this is all about the discussion of three leads for the given topic and i hope this video will be beneficial for you so until then keep learning keep watching and keep supporting thank you and best of luck